So one night a week, Jules and I throw axes in the backyard axe throwing league. So we need something that's easy to cook, delicious, easy to eat, and will give us the fuel we need to win. Welcome friends, welcome back to the kitchen. Um, if you've been following along, we made some guanciale. And uh, once we made this, a lot of people started asking if I could make carbonara. And carbonara is not something that I make all that often. It's one of those dishes with very few ingredients and, and strong, very strong opinions on how it should be made and how it shouldn't be made. So um, at its heart, it's guanciale and cheese and pasta with a couple of eggs. And it all comes together to make this creamy sauce. So I'm going to start out with the guanciale and I'm going to cut it into cubes. The guanciale provides fat, flavor, salt, all kinds of things. So you want to get a really good quality guanciale. Uh, I think the stuff that we made at home is fantastic. If you can't get guanciale, uh, pancetta is a close second. And then of course, um, failing all of that, bacon. Uh, you don't want smoked bacon, but bacon works. So that goes into this pan, medium heat. We want to uh, render out the fat and slowly brown the meat. Okay, while the guanciale is cooking, we'll make the sauce or the fixings for the sauce, um, which is pretty simple. One egg per person, since there's two of us, two eggs. Uh, next in is some black pepper. Uh, depending on the pepperiness of your guanciale, whether it's peppered or how much pepper was left on it, you can adjust it here. Um, I'm going to do a couple of pinches. And I can adjust that again later uh, once it's cooking. I'm just going to whisk those up a little bit. Now we come to cheese. Um, so there's two cheeses that we're using, Pecorino and Parmesan. And these are both aged cheeses. The Pecorino is sheep's milk and this is cow's milk. Now one thing to bear in mind is that um, some Pecorino can be incredibly salty. So you need to taste it and sort of adjust the salt level. Um, in the rest of the dish. Of course, guanciale is also very salty, so you need to play with your salt levels. So put that into the egg, and this is, this is grated super fine. Um, I used a microplane because this has to melt into the pasta with the water, and I find that uh, a microplane just makes it that much simpler. So I've got both cheeses in here now. I've got the egg, and I'm just gonna whisk that all together. no cream, there's no onion, there's no garlic, there's no basil, there's no oregano. Um, this is it. Cheese, egg, pepper, guanciale, and pasta. And today I'm using rigatoni. But you can use spaghetti. Um, my understanding is that both rigatoni and spaghetti are acceptable in this dish. So uh, I think we're almost good to go on the guanciale. So put the pasta in. So I've got a salt this water is salted, and I'm using a lot less water than you normally would to cook pasta. So bring that back up to a boil and cook it al dente. Meanwhile, the guanciale has browned up nicely. It's rendered out all of its fat. It's looking really good. So I've turned the heat off to the guanciale at this point. And I'm going to take just a scoop of the pasta water and put it into the pot just to start thickening up the fat with that starchy water. And it's also going to cool it down just a touch so that we don't overcook the egg when we put it into the pan. Here, just a little bit more. There we go. Okay, I think we're looking good on the pasta, so I'm going to turn that off. I've got a spider, and I'm just going to move the pasta over to the pan with the guanciale. I'm going to turn the heat back up to sort of a medium low. Put the pasta in. And I've got some really, really starchy water left in this pot that will help with the sauce. Okay, last one. Now, I've got a high pot here with rounded sides. I just want to stir this around a little bit to get some of that oil from the guanciale on the pasta. Now we're ready for the egg mixture. Egg goes in. And we stir furiously to make that sauce. 
heat management at this point is your biggest concern. If it's too hot, the eggs might curdle. If it's too cool, the sauce won't come together. You just keep stirring it and shaking it. And if you need a little bit more water, you've got the pasta water here, you can just add some in. Now the water is gonna loosen it up, but it's also gonna thicken it a little bit and make it shiny. So I'm gonna add a little bit more water and I think we're good to go. And so I think that looks pretty good. Let's, uh, let's take it to the table. Hey Jules. Hey Glenn. Just in time for hey, supper. Friends. Yay. How about that? So. I have perfect timing that way. There you go. Um, Thank you. Pasta carbonara. There's extra cheese to spread on top if you want. One is uh, Pecorino Romano, which is a aged sheep's milk cheese. Okay. Very salty, so be careful. And that is, um, that's Parmesan. Just Okay. Okay, kay. I'll start by tasting. And a little bit of extra pepper if you want pepper. But let's give it a go. It's pretty good. Mm. Um, I really like the guanciale flavor. I like the sauce, even though it's not a sauce, it's just eggs and pasta water. Mm. It's a really pleasant pasta. And it's al dente. Mm -hmm. On that Italian chef YouTube channel, Italia Squisita, I watched an Italian chef saying, in Rome, the pasta bites back. And if you want it cooked more, move somewhere else. So I think I got it. I think, I think this pasta bites back. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's definitely al dente. It's very mm -hmm. good. I like it. I don't think it needs any more cheese. I, you know, it's funny. I, of course, want to try and put a little bit more of each just to see how it changes. Just to see the how flavor. it changes? Yeah. It's like, I feel like I want more pepper on it, but I'm not sure. So this is, a, this is one of those pastas that comes together in, in no time. Um, it pretty much comes together in the time that it takes you to boil the water and cook the pasta. Oh, I like that. You can make everything like else. That. Yeah, you can make everything else in the, in the same time frame. So this really, if you've got the ingredients, mm. is no more different than mac and cheese. I do like the extra pepper. I was yep. just thinking about mac and cheese because I find the same mac and cheese. By the time mm -hmm. you cook the cook the pasta, mm -hmm. you can make the the sauce. Ooh, the, the, the extra like, pepper. I did like the extra pepper. I'm gonna I'm like adding it to one single piece just to see mm -hmm. if I like it. But I didn't like it the last time. I'm gonna try it again. So we're gonna continue eating. Thanks for stopping by. See you again real soon.